come back. So I'm going to make roasted pumpkin seeds. And really quick, I'm rinsing off the seeds that I separated from my first pumpkin fruit smoothie, which I have in another video, you can see. I have a lot of seeds left. There's no way I was going to throw that out. Oh no. Mm -mm. We're going to have us some good old roasted seeds. And I'm going to add some sea salt to it. Probably some cumin. I could add a little spice too, get a little kick. I don't know. Um, have them in olive oil and maybe a little garlic powder. I, I eat garlic in almost everything. Garlic is a real good for you too. No wonder they use it in vampire movies. <laughs> I think they understood the power of garlic. Garlic. It's so good for you as well. So I'm just trying to make sure all of the membranes are out of here. The stringy part of the pumpkin inside. You know, so it could just be all seeds. And then I'm going to dry them off real good. Because as I research and look at some other people making um, roasted pumpkin, the pumpkin can come out steamy or, you know, not that nice toasty texture and the old color to it as well. I thought I really steam this out really well. But I'm getting rid of these membranes that I'm going to introduce out on a napkin on my cutting board so I can dry them off really, really well or else you just have to wait for like a couple of hours for them to dry real good. And I don't have that much time because I'm excited about having some pump pumpkin seeds. So today's going to be like a pumpkin day. <laughs> Almost clean. So I almost got most of this out. Yes, yes, go through them holes. So the rest of I can clean with my hands. All right, so. Pause for a minute. I'm going to turn the camera around so I can start drying off these seeds. Again, this is bad lighting, but I'm going to do the best I can. Just so you can get the gist of how to make the, some, these um, pumpkin. I keep saying some pumpkin, these pumpkin seeds. So I'm pouring them on top of my cutting board. I just have a napkin over this. And putting my flower seeds on top because I want to spread them out. And I also have to take off more of the membrane when I see so many seeds because those cannot go in the oven. So I'm spreading out the sunflowers. Sunflower, I gotta stop saying that. Just a habit. Pumpkin seeds. You know that's my first time, right? Because I don't <laughs> say pumpkin seeds. Okay, so I know they have to be completely dry before putting them in the oven. So I want to spread them out as much as possible and I want to take the napkin on top of it, the paper towel on top of it and also dry off the other side of these. And I may have to do this twice, but these are very wet. I can also roll them. Hmm. That's what I'm going to do. But that's a fun part of experimenting. Find out what works, what doesn't work and try it again. And so I am drying these off in here. I'm going to get more paper towel. And then I'm going to put them on top of fresh paper towel. I just want to get a lot of that water off of these. Open them up. I know this is bad. I'm just showing a quick way. Usually people let them air dry for like a couple of hours or overnight. And then put them in the oven after that. I'm just trying to do this quickly because I want to make it now. Because I'm going to go for a walk. Let's go, pumpkin seeds. Set it right this time. Pumpkin seed, pumping, pump pumping. Okay. I think I got most all of them. Come on, come on. Wow, I don't know it's going to stick to the paper towel like this, but that's a good thing because that means they are mostly dry. And I'm going to do the same thing in the next, next napkin. Wow, these do stay wet. They kind of slimy. <laughs> All right. Just had to go back in the water again. Some of these pumpkin seeds don't want to cooperate. All right, I'm rolling it up in a napkin again. I'm going to open it back up. Okay, so as I unravel it, I'm going to take off the pumpkin seeds. They, they like to stick. 
let's work together here. And and that's a few membranes in it. I know those probably gonna burn in the oven. I'm just doing a quick video. This might be new to some of you, maybe old to a lot of you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna also wipe them off that way. Oh my gosh, I love pumpkin seeds. I want to eat them now. And of course you can eat them unroasted. I've seen that in a store, just raw pumpkin seeds. But wow, wow, wow. They do take a while to dry. Now I could do a getaway and get a blow dryer <laughs> and blow dry these things. Make it quicker. I'm going to pour them onto my cutting board. Take them off the napkin. You never be the same again. Yeah. Alrighty. Please. Let them get dry enough to put them in the oven. I don't want them to come out bad my first try. So I'm going to come back. So I am back. Enjoy my pumpkin smoothie. That I just made. So I dry these things off the best of my capacity right now. And I'm, think I'm thinking the air from the oven, the hot air would dry them off even more before they really start to roast which could be another way of drying them off but that's in my opinion it's first time I'm doing this so I'm putting this all on my pan uh, I could have did the olive oil before I don't know oh well and that is that always find one of those stringy things goodness gracious All right, so I'm going to spread them out a little bit because I'm going to put some olive oil on here. I'm trying to get as many of these strings out as much as possible. Y'all in the way. All right, I got some extra virgin olive oil. That's the kind I use all of the time in my body and skin products and in my food. And I'm just going to take my nice clean hands <laughs> and mix these seeds up in the olive oil, make sure all of them are saturated. Uh, again, I didn't use any kind of measuring, but I'm just figuring enough to cover all these seeds up. You don't need a lot. You're not trying to fry the seeds. You're trying to roast them and make them golden brown. Um, I might have put too much, you know. So anyway, okay, so I want to make sure every seed is covered. Looks like it is. Let me spread. Well, I don't want to spread out too much because I am going to add some sea salt on top of my... And then I'll just mix them up. All right, that's enough. I'm getting a little sea salt crazy. I want some garlic because I already have pumpkin seeds in the house. So this is going to be my own recipe. There go those membranes again. Good Lord. Okay, I think I got most of them out now. Because you know how that stuff will start to burn in the oven before the seeds are even ready. The flesh. Flesh want to get in the way. Okay, so here goes some garlic. <laughs> you know, as Christian folks, especially preachers, always see a sermon in something. You just see a sermon like, ooh, that a preach. All right. I want to get some cumin because I heard of that being used on sometimes when you make just a little bit. Making these pumpkin seeds. Did I say sunflower seeds earlier? I keep feeling like I'm saying sunflower seeds. But on these good old pumpkin seeds here. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. I have to use reinforcement there and repeat stuff over again. All right, so I'm going to spread these out and put them in the oven. I'm not really sure how long to leave them in the oven. However, Cheryl will be checking on these until they golden brown to my preference. And that is going to be that. Oh, child, things are going to get easier. All right. 
we can soak my hands. Go a nice and moist from the olive oil. Boy, I can use up some paper towel. <laughs> now I'm gonna put it in the oven. And we will be back with the end result. So I got garlic powder, ground cumin, sea salt, extra virgin olive oil. Looking like that. I'm gonna put them in the oven. On the top rack. I think I'll take you with me. Give me one second. Yes. Put these boys in the oven. Yes. And I'm going to let them cook. And we'll be back. Okay, so I think it's going to take about two more minutes. I'm going to pull my pumpkin seeds out of the oven. I've been cooking anywhere from seven to ten minutes, depending on how roasted you want them to be. But I smell the spice. My daughter came in here saying, Ooh, you're making curry. But I, that's the cumin that's inside. That's one of the ingredients, I believe, that's in the curry powder. Now, that would be pretty interesting to make some curried. See, I'm just experimental. I make all kinds of stuff. I'm a natural inventor. I'll put some, make some curry pumpkin seeds, package them, and sell it. That's what entrepreneurship <laughs> mind does. Always thinking of things to make that are different, that I sell. Oh, I already thought about next summer. When I do some more vending outdoors at some of these events down here, aside from selling my natural products, um, have somebody aside working with me, assisting me in making some smoothies. And I thought about the pumpkin smoothie mix. Ah, make some little extra change. Okay, so I think we've done enough because I don't want to overdo it. I had cooked it on 375 degrees between 375 and 400. And I think that is good enough because of uh, of uh, I don't think I want brown seeds. They look they look good. Let me take one out and see. I think they've only really been on for about eight. Ah, shuck it, shuck it now. Ooh, that tastes good already. I felt it in my shana now. Let me um put the seeds in the garbage. Oh yeah, we ready. We are ready. Honey. <laughs> Homegirl gonna be saving money. That pumpkin seed is awesome. We good. He off. Out the oven. It's just gonna be a pumpkin. Merry pumpkin day. We done. We are ready. Honey, that's good. Anyway, so I'm done for the day. Let me show you my pumpkin seeds. Woo, that look good, that look good, that look good. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I wish I had better lighting. Horrible, horrible, horrible light. But I will be back with something else experimental on another time. Talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.